Hi guys, my name is Matt. I'm from Northampton, Massachusetts, and I'm currently a student at UMass Amherst. And I'm going to teach you about the basics of microphones. So microphones are transducers, which means that they convert from one form of an energy to another. And in the case of microphones, they're converting from pressure variations in the air into an audio signal, which can be sent through a cable as voltage variations. So let's talk about types of mics. Uh, there are two types that we're learning in this class at least, and the first one is the dynamic mic. And this is your classic everyday ice cream cone shaped mic. And they're specifically designed for live use, and they're specifically designed for vocals. Um, and this is because they don't pick up any other instruments. When you're playing in a band, uh, it only picks up what's right in front of it. So if you're singing into it, it won't pick up instruments from, from the band, and it also won't pick up its own uh, signal coming out of the monitors in front of you, uh, which prevents feedback, which is why it's so good for live use. The second type of mic is the condenser microphone, which is almost exclusively used in studio situations uh, because it's extremely sensitive, extremely accurate, um, and it really it gets the whole sound of the room. Um, condenser microphones require a power source called phantom power, uh, and this is turned off and on on the preamp that it, it's running through. Now let's talk about the polarity or the polarity pattern of a microphone, which is essentially the uh, the space or the area that a microphone can detect and take in sound. Uh, now this is the cardioid shape. Uh, it's in the shape of a heart, which is easy to remember because cardio heart, cardioid heart shaped. Uh, and this is the the pattern that all dynamic mics have. Uh, and this is what makes them so good in, in live situations because, as you can see, uh, it, only, it only detects in front of the microphone a little bit to the back left, a little bit to the back right, but nothing in the back. So uh, some, some condenser mics, most condenser mics, have the option to use cardioid as well. Uh, the next polarity shape is the figure eight pattern. Uh, which, as you can see, is in the shape of a figure eight. Uh, it picks up uh, in the front and in the back, but not on either side. Uh, this last polarity pattern is the omnidirectional, uh, and it it uh, takes in sound equally from all sides in 360 degrees. And um, all all, all the, the higher end condenser mics have an option on them to, to use omnidirectional or figure eight um, or cardioid so you can kind of get a, a different range of sounds from the same microphone. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the frequency response and that's essentially the range of frequencies that a microphone is able to detect and uh, take in. And for dynamic mics, uh, that's really only within the vocal range uh, because they're designed for uh, vocals on stage and they reject any frequencies that are outside of that vocal range um, to, to stop other instruments from, from going through into, the, into that mic. Um, and condenser mics, uh, they pick up all frequencies equally. Uh, and that's, that's really what makes it a good uh, studio mic and a terrible live mic. So what I've been using for this recording is a, uh, a CAD U37 uh, large diaphragm condenser microphone. Uh, this is it's a medium quality, it's about $70. Uh, but it's a good microphone to start out with. Uh, it's it's got right here is the this this button is the sensitivity, um, and then this one here is switching between bass regular bass and bass reduction. So um, yeah, if you're looking for a, a mid range uh, microphone to start out with that's not very expensive, uh, this might be an okay choice. The CAD U37, uh, and that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.